welcome to Disney Makes Coloring. If you're new here, my name is Megan and I am so excited to be here with you all today. First of all, I want to say thank you to all of my wonderful subscribers that you keep returning to watch my videos. I really appreciate it. And if you haven't already and you like my videos, it does help my channel for you if you do subscribe. Um, so I would love to have you subscribe to my channel. Anyway, this is a different kind of a video. Um, I recently went on a trip and it was a short, it was just a weekend and um, my husband likes to fish. So we went up in the mountains. We went uh, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, came home Monday night um, on a fishing trip with his parents. And I'm gonna start this off right now. I am not an outdoorsy person at all. Um, I prefer to stay inside and color or craft or, I would rather clean than uh, go fishing. I'll just say that. But I was a trooper and I went along. And um, so what I did is I brought a chair, I brought a small table, like a fold up full table, and a bag of coloring. And so everywhere we went, um, my husband would make sure there was a flat spot for me to sit and set me all up, that, which was really nice of him because he really wanted me to be there. So he was trying to make it comfortable for me. And while they fished and disappeared basically, because they fish in creeks, not really lakes, so they walk all up and down the creeks. And um, so I sat by myself most of the time. Um, I played my music on my phone and I colored the whole time in the great outdoors in the middle of the, not really a forest, but kind of forest. Yeah, I, could, I didn't see too many animals. I think I only saw squirrels and chipmunks. I could have, we did see deer driving, but you know, I could have seen a bear. I could have seen a lot of things, but I didn't. Um, I'm thankful for that. Anyway, so what I thought I would do is um, show you what I brought and how I brought it um, and, and all the little things that, um, how I packed and what I bring on the short trips. And then at the end of the video, I'm going to show you, I'm also getting ready to do a craft retreat next week. Um, and I was going to show you... Um, some of the things that I might add, um, I have more than one bag, so I would have to bring more than one bag. Some of the things I'm gonna add to my bag. So, and I also have pictures to show you. So there will be some pictures in here at some point, maybe in between the, what I show you and what I'm gonna add. Sorry, I have the hiccups. So I'm gonna pause you for one second and uh, pick you up because the bag is, does not fit and I want to show it to you. So give me one quick second. Okay, so here is my bag. Uh, this bag I got at Sam's Club, if you have a Sam's Club. It is like a large insulated bag. So like if you're bringing cold things somewhere and they stay cold, so they're padded. So they protected my pencils and they kept my stuff cool. Though I did have some situations with a few pens exploding, but cause we did go in higher elevation, but that's, you know, that happens when you do that. So there's the bag that I took and it is full and to the rim of stuff. And then the table I have looks like this. I got two new ones. So this isn't the one I took. Um, this, I'm taking a couple extra ones with me to the craft retreat. Um, so these tables, I got their lifetime brand and I got them also at Sam's Club. And I believe they're less than $20 for the table, which is really good. It's like an oversized TV tray. It tells you they're a 30 inch table. I do have a smaller pink one that's lifetime and I've had it for a really long time. It's probably about half the size of this. Um, I got that at Walmart. Um, I've always looked for another one because, you know, I love pink, but I never could find another one. So anyway, so that's the table. 
And then it's just a regular camping chair. I'm not going to show you my chair. So I am going to uh, put you back on my dock and then I am going to show you one by one what is in my bag. So I will be right back. Okay, so first thing that I pulled out of my bag is this big monstrosity. And this is the case of the 218 Ohuhus or 216. I forget what it was. And this is how they come. Now what I put in it for my, I have it set up to go to the beach. Um, I should have filmed this before I unpacked, but um, my OCD wouldn't let me and I had to unpack right away and I'm like that. Yeah, I can't leave things. <laughs> so um, this is actually what's in here is ready to go to the beach, but I will tell you what I had in here otherwise. So let's open it up. So I am bringing my Ohuhus, which I don't store them in here normally. So I have all my Ohuhus, not all of them because um, they are starting to run out of ink because I, I need to get a spare set. And then I added some colors that like, um, for example, my orange ran out of ink. So I have a couple oranges from different sets and uh, my red, my favorite red ran out. And so I have another red here and my black ran out. I have two blacks. I have the Cali Art black and the Blick Studio black. Um, but when I went to the uh, mountains, I had only four of those were full of markers as I only took my Artics, my Artix alcohol markers. And then I had, um, in this pocket, I had my, uh, my doll 133 in there. And then in this pocket, I'm going to move this aside. I had this and this was full of all of my glitter gel pens, my metallics, my white pens, uh, pencils, regular pen, my white and black acrylic paint pen, my brush, my scissors, you know, anything that I would need. So that was in the third and it fit perfectly in that. And this I got at Ikea and I'll show you what it looks, the tag on the bottom. So in case you guys are interested, that's what it's called. And that's the number down there. Cause I know you have to look for things by the number and it's in the, um, they're actually flower pots, but I have a whole bunch of them and I use them for my markers and my pens. Cause I think they're so pretty. And I have different sizes. I have this size and then I have a really big size. So there's that. Of course I have in there my journal. It goes with me everywhere I go. Well, not everywhere. I don't take it with me day to day, but anywhere I go on a trip, it always comes with me. And then I had this bag in there. Now in this bag I got on Amazon, it's that says awaken the beauty of life and it's a pencil case and what I keep in kept in here was my electric erasers my sh little sharpeners my brush my glasses that have a really cute case I got at Walgreens or CVS that's the case for my glasses because I'm getting old and my vision is changing, which really stinks because I never had a problem looking close up, but now I do. Um, and I wear contacts and I do not want to go to bifocals. I don't feel like I'm ready for that yet. Anyway, well, I have it. Um, I don't have all of those things that I took in here anymore because I am getting ready for my beach trip, but I do have some. So I'm going to open it for you and I'm going to tell you something. Now, I didn't think of putting stuff in baggies before this, but just so you know, these, uh, I don't want to say leak, but you know, there's pencil things in there still. I tried to get it out as best as I could. Well, the first time I ever took them with me, 
anywhere, I didn't realize. Um, I I put it in there like half full because it wasn't, you know, I didn't need to dump it just yet. And I just put it in here and everything was covered in pencil stuff. And I was on an airplane and so it was hot. Things, you know, the pencil shaving stuck to everything. Well, it completely ruined my one of my favorite erasers. Um, and I had to get a cloth out and clean, like, a lot of things. So now I am putting them in. So you know, if you have little sharpeners, um, like this is the Tagal one, or any of them, they're not perfect. And they, you know, shavings and lead can come out of them. Put them in a baggie separate. But this bag um, has pockets on the inside. So it has little, little pockets. So I now keep my new favorite eraser, which in case you were wondering is the High Polymer Eraser by Pentel. I keep that in the pocket so it doesn't get dirty. And then in the other pocket, I keep some um, page flags just in case. This is, I take with me everywhere. This is a uh, Q-tip case, but there's no Q-tips in here. I keep this for my uh, little, this is a Stedler sharpener. So when they get really, really small, they don't fit in these either. So I use this and then I put, keep my shavings. I, sh I sharpen it over this so the shavings stay in one place. I think I mentioned this before, but I don't like to get dirty. So I try to think of things, you know, I always carry a uh, correction tape for my journal in case I make a mistake. Um, here are some, just the clear stickles that I have and they, I keep them in a bag and my glossy accents and they're in a bag, but they're not, um, these, these did not go with me cause they definitely would have exploded. They did not go with me to the mountains. And then any of the washi tape that I'm using at the time, um, I keep in here. And then I had, I did have my brush in here and my um, electric eraser, but um, I have them in a different case I'm gonna show you um, in, a, in a minute. So, so it all fits in there. Zip it back up. And it has this front pocket too. Um, so you can put pens in here, just right in here. And then this stuff doesn't fall out. I don't know if you can see that has a little barrier here so you can just use your pins or whatever I think that it's cute and it's nice and long so a lot of things fit in it and I I like the little handle so there's that bag the next thing that I keep in there that I put brought along with me were my black widows I try not to bring I didn't want to bring a good set to the mountains just in case and I can always replace my Black Widows and I actually have a replacement set. But like I didn't want to bring my uh, Prismas or my Polychromos. But I am taking those with me to the beach. So I'm going to take these three sets with me to the beach, I believe. So there's um, that. And then because I am, some of my Black Widows are getting small and I do have a replacement set, I also brought this. Um, and this are some of the ones that are getting small. I went through them and like I put the small one in there because I was, yeah, I, I could hardly sharpen it. This is the purple haze. It's one of my favorite colors. So I have all of the ones that I need that are getting small in here. And I'm going to do the same. I'm going to add them to this for my um, Prismas. I don't have extra polychromos, but those are brand new. But I do it with my Prismas. So those were in my bag. The next thing I have for my bag is I have a clipboard. This I got on Amazon. Um, it's just, it's one that opens so I can put PDFs in here or the pencils that I'm using so I don't forget. Um, they fit in here. And I bring it because while well, I was outside and um, I didn't want, you know, the page, the book to blow away if I just let go so it held it tight. And then 
these tables have a texture to them. So they're not smooth like my coloring mat. And um, this is smooth. So when I color, I, I like to color on this. I have some regular clipboards too, but I like this one the best. And then I started, I know you've seen these before, but I have uh, these books. And what I did was I put all of my um, swatch charts and I put those in the back. I filled, um, they're not in here now. I haven't done that yet. I filled, um, this has got a bunch of cardstock in it for backer pages in case I need it. These, just so you know, these pages stick and then they fold. And then I put all the PDFs that I need or the pages like a lot of my Disney books are in these kind of books already. So just the ones that I want to work on. Um, so yeah, so I have more to add to that too. And I will, so I will fill this up even more for my trip. And then the rest that I put in there are, uh, I have books and, um, my jar link fits in there. Of course, it's not empty because I just stuck it back in there just for right now so you guys could see. But um, when it travels, make sure you check the dial. It works best on three. Um, I learned that from Pamela's Passion for Pencils. I'll put a link to her channel down below. And um, she does a whole thing on pencil sharpeners. Because I was sharpening my pencils and I'm like, they are not coming out wrong. Well, I looked down because it got moved around in the bag. It was on one. So the sharpest you could get it. So it was like it was never, it has an auto stop, but it felt like it was never stopping. So the auto stop to me works best on number three. So I'm gonna plug it back in real quick. Whoop. And then I brought, this I'm bringing with me. I brought um, all of these with me. I didn't get to color in I don't think I colored in either one of those, but I, I colored the one in here and this one, this one, and then I colored a whole bunch of pages in this one. So I tried to bring ones that I would use alcohol marker first and then go over it with pencil because that was the alcohol markers I noticed while there. I'm glad I did that were a lot easier to use out there than the pencils. Cause the pencils, number one, they roll and the markers I could keep sticking back in the thing. And so, yeah. So that was it. And then in the front of the bag, I had a bottle of water and a snack. Cause there is a pocket. I'm gonna move these. There is a pocket right here in the very front. So I kept a water bottle and a snack in there. And um, so for my beach trip, I actually got two more of these bags. Um, I won't fill both of them up. I'll probably just take two. I might have food in one. So for my beach trip, um, I showed you already what I had in my purple bag. I am bringing that as is. Uh, and then I have three of these. Um, I got this whole set. It came as a set on Amazon. The brand is on on go. Oh no. Angu or A N G O O is the brand. And they are the coolest little pencil cases. I don't know if you've ever seen these. So you open them and then there's little tabs. Uh, let's see. See there's little tabs on each side. And as long as there's stuff in it, if there's nothing in it, it doesn't do very well. And then you just pull it down like so, and you have your own little cup. So in this purple one, I have my, uh, basically it's like my tools. So I have my brush, my scissors, pencils, my X-Acto knife. I have um, these I use in my journal. 
I have some Microns, the, my two white and black acrylic paint pen, and my Spectrum Noir glitter, and um, I put my Ohuhu electric eraser in here. So that is in the purple one. And so to pull it up, it's a lot harder than it is to pull down, <laughs> but it, it's not too bad. So that was in the purple one. In the pink one, we will, it has to, I pull, you pull it down, is all of my glitter. So these are my Sparkle Pops and my Stardust and my Link glitters and then my white uh, gel pens are in this one. So my beach trip is a lot longer and it's specifically all we're doing is crafts the whole time. So I'm bringing a lot more stuff. And yeah, and then on the blue one, in the blue one, I have all of my metallics and my uh, glaze. So I have my sparkle metallic Oh, they're Pentel Signature Metallic Gel Pens. So they're not Metallic Pop. Whatever. And then my uh, Jelly Roll Metallics and the Jelly Roll Glaze. Those are what's in this one. Oh, we're stuck. Like I said, it's much easier to pull down than back to pull back up. I use this tag to pull it back up and hold on to the bottom. So that was for that. And then I am, for my um, letter H uh, page in my ABC Disney book, um, I like to put washi tape on my letter. So I'm bringing both of these. This one is, um, I don't know if you can see that. Um, she calls it, I forget what she calls these. This is simplygilded.com. I'll put a link to her channel down below. Um, and she has all different ones. It's like a solid color. And then on the top, it's stars and like different speckles of foil. So I have two different sizes. I have a five millimeter and a 10 millimeter. And then I have this red Mickey one from uh, Exo Mama Plans. And it's like ombre from dark red to lighter red. For going that way. I don't know if you can see that shadow anyway so I don't know which one I'm gonna use so I'm gonna add those three to it um, I did not bring any of these and I really wish I had some so I am bringing some wipies you never know if you make a mess I'm going to add um, my Sakura tiaras um, I I leave them in here so I'm just gonna leave them in there I will bring my distress inks. So I have, this is all the distress inks I have. I have three sets. Um, I have more on my wish list. So you guys should check out my wish list. There's lots of things on there that would help me with my channel. You should check it out. It is linked in the description box below. Um, these I like to use with my, uh, King Art gel sticks. I do like these, which I didn't pack. I need to find my, uh, I think it's in here. Maybe not. Thought it was in here. I need to find it, but I need to make sure I bring my palette, my pink palette for these. So I'm taking those that goes with this. And then I use, I tend to use for my distress inks. I like to use these things, the brushes. I don't know if these are very good. I need to look for some of the ones. Um, I notice people use ones that have like a, they're all one solid color and these look white. I need to look for those because these break really easy. They were cheap on Amazon. And um, I just, again, I just don't feel like they work very well. I watch other people doing them, and I'm like, how do they get it to look like that? And then, um, I didn't, I could show you, um, I'm going to bring this. This is pretty cool. This is my selfie stick, so that I can maybe take some videos for you guys, or um, some fun pictures. 
I am going to bring that and books. Um, I don't know. I can show you some of the books I'm going to bring. Um, I am bringing my, this stack right here and there will be more cause you know, I have like five days to color. So I have my reptiloids. We have, um, Autumn Charm by Teresa Goodrich. Kawaii Doodle Cuties. I have all three romantic countries because there um, are Halloween pages in each one. And one of my friends that is coming has the same books. So we could color together. I'm bringing Cute and Spooky. I am bringing Spooky Vibes. I just got this today. And it's all messed up because <laughs> it's hot still here. Unfortunately, even though it is fall, it is still in the 90s here. Upper 90s sometimes. I we're ready for 80s for sure, 70s. Um, Coco Wyo Spooky Girl. And so it curls worse, which I'm realizing. And then um, I need, I'm going to bring my 50 Halloween miniatures. Um, I should have taken it back. You guys should see it's really bad. But I, I didn't want to wait for another one. I don't know. Can you guys see how it the cover is completely coming apart from the whole rest of it? So, and I'm afraid that because it's still hot here, it's going to come the same way. So I'm learning that when I buy black background or black, yeah, on the backing, coloring books I need to wait till winter when it's not so hot and maybe they won't be so bad but I don't know anyway I also will be bringing my laptop and I don't know what else but for now oh um, and maybe some water-based markers. I haven't decided yet. I, um, I might bring my super tips, but we shall see. Anyway, yeah. So, um, that is everything. Um, uh, hopefully, you know, I didn't pause to give you time to see the pictures. So I'm going to show you the pictures now of um my places that i my spots because um we basically fished on bishop creek and rock creek i think it's called rock creek don't quote me on that i think it's that anyway so mostly bishop creek though in different places along bishop creek and so um and most of them were really close to campgrounds. So there were some good spots for me and I had some really pretty views. So I took lots of pictures for you guys. I even made a friend, which you will see. I named him Blue and you'll see a picture of him, a beautiful blue jay. He sat on a branch right in front of me and watched me. And I was watching him. If I would color, he'd cock his head one way. And if I moved and changed pens, he'd cock his head the other way. Like he was really watching me color. <laughs> It was really cute. I tried talking to him, but eventually he flew away. He also was really loud.
hope you enjoyed this video. Um, and if you're not already subscribed, please subscribe to my channel and hit the bell button so you're notified when I post new videos. And the thumbs up that you liked it. And comment down below on some of the things that if you go on a trip, what you would bring and what you would pack. I would like to know, or if you would do anything differently, or if you have any good ideas on how to tote things, places. Um, I just wanted to show you, I know um, I'm very organized. If you also, I wanna know if you would like more organization videos. So I can do those too. My bag just fell over, that scared me. <laughs> anyway. Uh, it's fun talking to you guys, and I can't wait to talk to you soon. Bye! Mm -hmm.